listen carefully how to know that your woman is about to cheat if not cheating already men i need you guys to pay attention it is not only men that cheat women now cheat more than men the difference is that culture religion and society has made a lot of women hide their own more than men yes that gentleman who is in love i want to teach you how to know that your woman is about cheating on you or she's already cheating on you so i want you to pay attention to these details because oftentimes when you marry these women and you say they change they did not change it was there but you did not look out for something first of all you need to look out for something you need to pay attention as a man don't be careless so that they don't go and give you somebody else's dna number one accountability when your woman cannot account for where she is what she does she can't tell you oh baby this is where i am baby this is where i am each time you ask her questions she gets pissed off she doesn't want to she's about to cheat she's about to cheat or she's cheating because at that point accountability begins to irritate her they begin to see accountability as interrogation you know your woman is about to cheat or she's cheating because she will always find a way to misunderstand what you are saying or what you are asking eg baby where were you today i was in lekki where in lekki what kind of question is that one so i cannot go to lekki what kind of question is that one so i'm in lekki what was she always finds a way not to give you accountability sometimes if you're a gentleman you might end up apologizing i'm sorry baby i didn't mean to hurt you she's about to cheat or she's cheating when a woman loves you she'll be happy to account she will tell you how her day went she will tell you where she went to every woman is outspoken to the man that she loves that's the truth so if they cannot give you accountability you ask them question there is nothing like oh my boyfriend is insecure that is not insecurity accountability is what builds trust it is only when you can give me account, even in the banking industry, even in the accounting world, even in the mathematical world, economical world, there must be, a, how did you spend this money? How did, that is what will make me give you another one. That, will, that is what is going to make me place you in a particular position. If you can give account. So if you want your man to trust you, you must be ready to give account. Don't even tell me that women, don't go that there. Because I will get angry with you guys on this video, you women. Don't go there. Don't, don't, don't say that thing that you want to say. Eh, it's not like that. What if I'm busy? Busy doing what? Busy doing what? That you cannot account for where you are to your man. Please don't play that excuse with me. You guys are quick to say all men cheat, all men are this, all men are that. But we never look inward. If you cannot give account to your partner, you don't deserve them. You don't deserve to be in the list. Men, don't marry women who cannot account themselves to you. Accountability is part of fidelity. It's part of loyalty. If you know that you don't want to be answering to anybody, stay single. The essence of relationship is that somebody will ask you where you're going to. Where are you coming from? Your boyfriend will do it. Your husband will do it. It's a sign of protection. Even your parents did it when you were growing up. Don't your parents used to ask you, where did you go to? Won't you give account? You will give account. So we agree that, number one, once she starts shying away from giving account and start forming quarry, she's about to cheat or she's cheating. Number two, you begin to irritate her. Anything you do is a problem. It's a fault. Baby, why are you chewing like this now? Baby, why did you bang the door like that? No, no, you want to give me a headache? You begin to irritate her. Even you as a man, you will know that you are irritating this woman. But everybody will be worrying her. home If you talk, it will, it will look as if your mouth is oozing. She gets very uncomfortable with conversations around you. I want to sleep. I, I want to close the fridge. I want to iron my clothes. I want to go and do makeup. I'll call you. But if a woman truly loves you and she's your woman, I used to bath in the bathroom with my man. I used to do makeup. We'll be doing video call. Anyway, if I'm driving, I will hang my phone like Uber. We'll be talking. He practically knows everywhere I'm going to. And I practically know everywhere he's going to. That's the honest truth. If he's around me, I am very happy. When I'm unhappy, I will share what is making me unhappy with him. Why will I be having pepper body with somebody I love? The man that you claim you love is supposed to make you smile. He's except if the person offended you. If your man offends you, express yourself. But when a woman says having a own bakashi, when you do not do anything, pepper body, She's about to cheat or she's cheating. 
Number three, she begins to sneak. She begins to sneak like rats. That woman that enjoyed your company, right now she can do without you. She don't get another person where she does sex chat. She don't get another person where they bust her dada. Let me tell you something about women. We are so emotional. It's so easy for you to know when we are carried away. We men, you people are logical. You can just see a, a girl. You want naka nanyash. A woman. Once we find somebody else, we are invested. So it's so easy to catch us. Very easy to catch us. It's just that a lot of you men do not pay attention. Maybe because of the way you met your wife or you met your girlfriend, they are acting a sense. Mm -mm. Pay attention to these details so that they don't marry you out of pity. They don't marry you because you have money. They don't marry you and start to make it look like they did you a favor. Right? Number five, she begins to hide her phones, delete her chats, put her phone on disappearing mode. Yes. She begins to code numbers. Her numbers are now coded. Yes. Know that she's about to cheat. She has gotten one bobo that is scattering her dada. That is how you know that your woman is about to cheat on you. Now, why do we deliberate about cheating? Cheating is one thing that hurts the most because it um, entails sexual intercourse. Two people meeting together. And when you sleep with this person, sleep with this person, you have the tendency of giving the other person infection. You don't know where the other person is coming from. Cheating hurts because it's as if you've shared bond. You've shared spirit. You, you, you are so tied with somebody else. That's where cheating hurts. So I'm going to tell every handsome man out there. A lot of women are now cheats. Women now cheat more than men. We have lots of loose women. Women that are not disciplined anymore. So you need to pay attention with the one that you're picking. If you can forgive them, please forgive them. If you cannot forgive them, don't bother marrying a certain woman you know has this lifestyle. That's why you need to pay attention. Not when you marry her now, you come and start complaining and crying to us. I did not know she was an Ulu show. If you know that you can marry such women, but there's something I want to tell you. No woman can change for you. Ulu show is Ulu show. Prostitute is a prostitute. A prostitute will change if she decides to change. Again, we think she will see for streets. We go make and talk, say, I don't want to do a shower again. But you, as a man, cannot make a woman change her ways. It's vice versa. You, as a, a woman, cannot make a man change his ways. It's vice versa. People change when they want to change. Love does not make anybody change. Love is just a feeling. People change because they realize the consequences and the repercussion of what they are doing. That's why most of them change. So don't keep in mind that, oh, this person is going to change. If people cheat on you, they are likely going to cheat on you again. The reason why you might never find out they become perfect in hiding. When you catch somebody cheating and you forgive them, they will do it again. But this time around, they become more perfect in hiding it. That's the truth. So, but before you get married to people, please, as a man, pay attention to these thoughts. So that when you get married, you can have peace of mind. Because as a man... If you're married to a woman and you don't trust her, you will live a miserable life, no matter how rich you are. You will never be comfortable where you are. You will always ask what is happening around. So you need to marry a woman that you can sleep, close your eyes and go to bed, and you're not afraid that somebody else can take advantage of her. You need to marry a woman of caliber, a woman that you know that can say no. Some women cannot say no. That's why you don't want to take your wife out or your woman out to your friends. She cannot say no. So these are the um, things you need to build in your relationship. Don't just get into a relationship and start fucking. As men, it's beginning to affect you. You can now see that a woman can take another person's DNA and give you. You can imagine the psychological trauma of training a child that is not yours, that's being lied to. So these things can be avoided. This is what makes a lot of men fall down and die on time. So pay attention while you're cutting, while you're looking at that big nyash and that big breast. While you can't wait to ta 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 Every time you're quick to shout to Olusho, Olusho, but you keep patronizing Olusho. And when Olusho carry belly right now, come meet you, you go begin deny. As a man, you should also learn to discipline yourself so that you stop getting yourself into all this unnecessary drama and buha. Many of you men, your lives are so miserable because of the stupid one minute decisions that you have made just because you want to come. So please be guided so that marriage and relationship are very, very beautiful when we can trust one another. I hope.